How many individual water molecules are there in this bottle of water? Atoms and molecules are so small, it's difficult to wrap your head around. How do you picture something that's 50,000 times smaller than a grain of salt? And how would you count them? Well, thanks to the mole, it's actually quite straightforward. Chemists don't count in ones, tens, or even hundreds of atoms at a time. We count in 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23s. That's six with 23 zeros after it. That's more stars than there are in the observable universe. To give you a better idea of how big that number is and how small atoms and molecules are, one mole of donuts would cover the entire Earth five miles deep. But one mole of water molecules is only about this much. So let's calculate the number of water molecules in this bottle. So I have about 1,100 milliliters of water left in my bottle, and due to the density of water, which is one gram per milliliter, we have 1,100 grams. Water has a molar mass of 18 grams per mole, so that means each mole of water weighs 18 grams. So to find out how many moles, we do the mass divided by the molar mass, and that gives us 61.1 moles of water. So how many molecules is that? We know there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles in one mole. So 61.1 moles would have 3.67 times 10 to the power of 25 water molecules. Follow me for more chemistry content like this.